Also today, the council approved the largest settlement for a deadly officer-involved shooting. The city awarded one and a quarter million dollars to the children of Larry Jackson Jr. He was the man shot and killed last July by an Austin police detective. KXAN Sophia Bosile takes a closer look at what this decision could mean for other lawsuits and trials connected to this case. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. No. That passes on a vote of six to one. It's a large settlement for a very high profile case. Death is death. Father will never come back. I've got three minor children. So this is going to help them continue to live their life in the absence of their father's financial support. Bobby Taylor represents Larry Jackson Jr.'s kids and says the settlement will help pay for school and simply get by. Former Austin police detective Charles Kleinert shot and killed Jackson last summer. He tried to enter a bank during a robbery investigation, ran off, Kleinert chased him, then there was a struggle. Kleinert says his gun accidentally went off, but he was indicted for manslaughter. Obviously, my clients are thrilled that their grandchildren are being compensated for this. Adam Lowy represents Jackson's parents. Lowy says ultimately they want to see Kleinert convicted and says counsel's decision to settle sends a message. It was an unjustified shooting. This is an admission of that, and we look forward to the next steps of the process. Jackson's parents filed a separate lawsuit that is still pending, and they hope their case could go the same way. Reporting from downtown Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Attorney Bobby Taylor originally wanted one and a half million dollars for the children, but he told us he realizes there are other family members in the case. It's important to know that sometimes the city will battle these types of cases in court, but it still costs taxpayers money. For example, last summer a jury decided APD officer Nathan Wagner was justified when he shot and killed Byron Carter in May of 2011. Officer Wagner fired five shots into a car in East Austin when it started coming towards him. Wagner said he thought his partner's life was in danger, and because of the jury decision, the family of Byron Carter was not awarded any damages. But the city still spends hundreds of thousands of dollars defending the officer. City records from 2012 show the council approved hiring attorney Robert Eisenhower Rodriguez for this case. His contract cost the city between $300 and $350,000.